Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome back to Production Line. Look at this. It is a lot of no routes to stockpile. Oh, wow. Crazy. Uh, so we unlocked a new car. Oh, employed a thousand staff. Okay. Well, that's a lot of staff. So look at all this stuff. My goodness, we have a lot of stuff going on down here. We have got our new um, starting part all the way up to fit rear bumpers, which I believe is that part right there. Yep, so we've got all of those things going bunch of um, manufacturing that's going to be obsolete here soon. And um, I have new schedules set up for each, uh, look at that, five budget cars and then one luxury car um, set up for each of our two lines here. This one has all of the mid-range and expensive cars. So um, should get a better mix of cars going through there. Now these guys will make it through the initial stages, we've got all the necessary manufacturing for these slots through here. Uh, it's gonna take us a while to get in all of the imports, so we're gonna let this run for a bit. And we're gonna let these guys run out. So let's go ahead and shut that down, which will allow us to shut down all of this stuff. So much stuff over here. We're gonna leave these sensors here, of course. But all of this other stuff is going to get shut down and we just won't have to worry about it anymore. No more axles being made over here, for example. We can destroy all these. Now, this is not really the best way to spend our money, unfortunately. We'll get some of this money back, of course. But we are, I mean, I, we had, I had about $9 million before I started building that other area over there. And... Uh, you know, so it probably cost me $3 million to lay all this down. I doubt we're going to get back up to $9 million by the time I'm done. Let's see, what is this? Make fuel tanks. We don't need the fuel tanks being made over here anymore. Make fuel tank. Make fuel tank. All right. Make sensors. We want to keep those over here because we do need sensors. And it's nice to have centrally located manufacturing thing for them. Although I... I think we'll probably end up moving most of that stuff uh, into localized instances. All right, we don't need the body shells anymore. Make a body shell. So we're making all those on location. Now, what is this? Still makes sensors. Okay, so they do use raw steel. We'll get these belts out of the way. Fit body shell. Don't need it. Get rid of those. Don't need the hoods. We aren't going to need the hood manufacturing, which I hope is what I just deleted. I guess none of the stuff that I'm deleting is going to be needed since we've moved all of the production over to the other side. So this is make hood, don't need it. And we have make trunk, nope. Yeah, look at that. We've, <laughs> we'll barely get up to $7 million. So we lost about $2 million reconfiguring our starting area. But, like I said, it's not not the end of the world. And, um, all right. Okay, so that's all that. So we, we're going to connect this stuff up, and then I'll worry about fixing up all the rest of it in here. Deleting all those uh, unnecessary belts and stuff. All right, conveyor. You can, as a matter of fact, I want to have these guys maybe... Not really, can I, don't, I'm just not sure how to have them meet up and uh, split up again, like with the most efficiency. I feel like if we, I feel like if we, uh, why won't you connect up there? I feel like if we go down to one line, that that's going to create some sort of bottleneck. But I guess we can look and see. And then, of course, we'll, we'll split off to two lines. Again. Like right there is fine. Great. Okay. So now we can get rid of all these belts. It sure would be nice if you could draw, draw a delete thing instead of having to go through and do each one of these manually because that's sort of time-consuming. Um... But now we are definitely putting out a lot of uh, a lot of new.
bodies and so forth. We don't need any of these over here. Still not up to seven million dollars, let alone nine million dollars. Bye-bye, manufacturing. It's been so much fun having you around, but we don't need you anymore. And goodbye belts that are not doing me any good to delete. As a matter of fact, I probably should just leave them there, but I don't want to end up accidentally um, trying to run something on this belt that's going the wrong way or something like that. Lots and lots of comments from a few episodes ago, probably like five episodes ago at this point, about how I forgot to connect up that one thing. I don't even remember what it was. Don't have any information in my brain about it, but apparently I did that, and a lot of people found it amusing slash frustrating. So you're welcome, I guess. Um, that looks like we've got caught up on all of our import needs, so I like that. Missing upgrade bull bars. All right, well, let's do that. Buy all, upgrade all slots, great. There we go. Mission accomplished. Speed that up a little bit. Ah, we do. Uh, the only manufacturing I didn't get set up was the steel sheets because I just ran out of room. So we're going to set those steel sheets up over on this side, like there. I need way more than one, though. Uh, I'm not really sure how many I need, but we'll go with three to start with, let's say. And it looks like they're pretty well connected. And down here, I did put in several stockpiles, as you can see. Um, but I do, don't have a steel sheet stockpile. And I don't really have a good spot for one either. I can't fit one into any of these areas. I mean, I could convert this one over to a steel sheet stockpile and then convert. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Let's set a stockpile here for airbags. And let's... Um, Let's empty this one out and set this for airbags. Only local, maximum. There we go. And we will set you for add item, steel sheets. Steel sheets, only local. There we go. And then we'll set these guys up for uh, only local on all of these only local so you guys were fortunate in you know that you didn't have to sit through all of this um, well I mean you're having to sit through this setting up but like you didn't have to sit through me setting up all these different stations down here for like the imports and all the different stuff but I may have missed some things along the way hard to say uh, it looks like our it looks like our trunk fitting is the um, slow down here, but it shouldn't be because that's... Oh, why 2 minutes and 52 seconds here and 2 minutes and 0 seconds here? This must be for a fancy trunk of some sort. Huh. There we go. Alright, so some of those high-end trunks take a little longer and I probably would be better to have uh, three stations for fitting trunks, but it's kind of too late for that now. No bottlenecks yet, but we are getting some bottlenecks over here, and this of course is because of insufficient resources, and that is because we don't have enough servos. If we don't have enough servos, that means we're just not manufacturing enough servos. So, probably want to throw in some more servo manufacturing, but we've got all this spare room now. So why not throw it in down here? There we go. Throw in a couple of servo manufacturers. Don't even need to lay down anything to connect up more, and that'll get us more servos in, which hopefully will help us with getting more windows and doors installed in a timely manner. And um, <clears throat> we will be moving our... Uh, probably our roof... And definitely our door, windows, and mirrors up, I guess, into this. Well, you know what? We might move them just back into here because we are going to want to... Well, 
these don't even really need to be doubled. I mean, they're doubled up. That's fine. Because right now the goal is, is one minute in theory, like one minute 30 seconds in practice. So these are under a minute with two of them. These are under a minute with two of them. And these are under a minute with two of them. So these should not be causing any back. Oh my gosh. Talk about backlogs. Let's uh, connect up that and that might help. And we're gonna put, I have plenty of money. So why, why ask why? And we'll put another resource importer here and that will balance out the, uh, yeah, there we go. Balances out the demand there pretty easily. I don't know why that didn't connect up. There we are. All right, so now no more waiting for things over on this side. We still can't manufacture our own arches, which is kind of a drag, I guess. Um, things are moving pretty smooth through here. Definitely not getting any uh, choke point on our choke point there. So that's good. But we are backing up over here in the section where we expected to be backing up. So. I think what I'll do is I will start setting up that stuff just right through here then. So what were we looking at? We were looking at roofs. Oh boy. Let's see if we have any that take longer than 355. Or is four minutes the standard on that? Because if that's the case, we really only need to have four of them. Three minutes, 40. 355. All right, so it does seem like 355. So four minutes is the standard for that. Hmm. Enjoy a, a nice sip of a hot beverage, delicious hot beverage. Okay, so that is fit roof. Fit roof. We want four of those, huh? Yeah, that would, as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna leave this area for manufacturing. We're gonna set four up like right here. One, two, three, four. And sunroof manufacturing is gonna be so big. Um, and we're gonna fit it in. We're gonna do sunroof manufacturing for sure. So this is two minutes, 36 seconds. We probably only need three of these bad boys. Oh, can we fit one down in here? Oh, we almost can, but we can't. Oh, we can, look, one, two, three. There we go, just like I said, three of them. Connect those up, like that. And we're gonna go ahead and connect all these up here. I'll put in a stockpile right here. Actually, let's put our stockpiles. Oh wait, that's no good because that that's that's where the <laughs> that's where the out lane goes out. So yeah, that's no good. All right, um, let's try to be smart about it. Supply stockpile. I could put them right here, and then the lanes can go out. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and we're gonna do we'll do roofs on this one. And what is that? Just roof. That's what my dog said. Haha! Very funny. You're welcome, everyone. Um, well, I was trying to see what the little drop-down thing was. Only local. Can we can we go back to? Um, go back to. Yeah. What is? There we are. Panoramic sunroof and sunroof. Okay, fine. Here we will put the sunroof. Regular style, only local. And then over here, we will put the cancel add item panoramic sunroof. Sunroof comma panoramic. There we, no, let's try doing it this way. Roof, un, unlock, there you go, panoramic, great. Only local, bam, cool. And that means make sunroof. And we'll put them down here. And oh boy, oh boy, how many of these are we gonna need? 
10 minutes. So probably six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I guess. And um, then the panoramic sunroof, 13 minutes. Wow. Oh, you know, those would have really fit interestingly around each other. Too late now. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Probably six of these, too. Let's do seven. Oh, hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's do six, then. Fine. Okay. Resource conveyor. This is just going to be a mess. We may as well just have resource conveyors on, like, every available square. Because that's pretty much what we're doing at this point. Alright. You're connected up there. You guys are going to connect like this. You're going to connect with each other as well. Sure. Connect up down there, please. You're going to connect up like that and like that. Very good. Okay, so we've got our roof manufacturing. We've got our sunroof manufacturing going on down here. Um, all right, I'd say that looks pretty good. And then these guys need to be set with the upgrades. Oh boy, it's going to be a lot of upgrades on these bad boys. Upgrade extra robots. Uh, we're only doing the extra robots one at this point. That way we can actually use the extra robots two and extra robots three on the things that really need it. Open top. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't too bad then. Okay, so there's our fit roof. And that takes care of that. Next up, fit door panels. And this is at 2 minutes 30. Let's see if any of them take any longer. Does not seem to. So, three fit door panels. Now, nope, there's a three minute one. Okay. So, that seems to be the long one. We can handle that. Three of them would still get us a one minute time. <clears throat> Excuse me, on doors. So, fit doors, fit door panels. Do I want to try to run them? Along the bottom here, because I could put some of the manufacturing over in here pretty easily. So I think I will. Um, yeah, this one. One, two, three. This, oh yeah, you know what? I need to do the imports on these as well. Uh, only local. Only local. Only local. And only local. Great. And down here, we have upgrades. Robots 1. And uh, lane departure warning, um, central locking, upgrades, car alarm, and upgrades, keyless entry. Finally, predictive stock control, apply all. Very good. And for the for these, we need servos, sensors and door panels and alarms. So we need a lot of manufacturing over here. Um, don't think we can make alarms yet, can we? Door panels, servos, sensors, and yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have alarms anywhere. Where would the car alarm be? Yep, all right, I'm gonna say we can't make our own alarms. So we still need to do, oh, closed way too many things. There we go, make door panels. Um, how many of those do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So definitely gonna need probably eight And um, it seems like we're doing okay on importing over here. Although we have plenty of room over here too. Actually, we have kind of room everywhere. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's our door panel things. Connect everything up like that. Very good. And you guys are not connected yet, but now you are. Connect you guys like that, like that. Good stuff. Um, did I set you to import? No, only local, only local, only local. And the same thing here, only local. And for you, we definitely want local only. Great, but that means I need to have more sensor and servo manufacturing. The sensors, I believe, are... No, that's the uh, bags, right? Oh yeah, they're both advanced manufacturing. We have plenty of servo capacity. Uh, weird shape thing. I'll just throw down. Oh wait, we need we need room for the cars to get out. Don't forget about that, dum dum. Okay, so we'll put that one right there. Very good. Make sure those are all connected up. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna go right there. Great. There's our servos and sensors are the ones that are super crazy shaped, aren't they? Oh no, not crazy shaped at all. Very normally shaped. Um, but don't block off your exit. Oh, can I? I uh, thought I could squeeze one in there somehow. Um, ah, we got plenty of room over here, so. One. And these take two minutes, huh? So they're pretty slow. Two. Three. Four. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Four. Throw a few more over here. Five. Six. There you go. That should be enough. And we'll, uh, let's back out a little. We'll put in some resource conveyors over here, or not. I guess we don't really need to. Let's make sure these guys are conveyed up. Like that, very good. Cool. Okay. So that's uh, door panels. Door panels. And windows and wing mirrors. But you know what, I want to go ahead and get these things going right now. So we're gonna let this stuff uh, clear out of here and then we'll connect up our new stations over here. Uh, in the meantime, we can get the conveyors running from these stations over into the, um, over into the other ones. You're gonna come down like that. We're gonna do that and that. You're gonna come down, we're gonna come like that, you're gonna come out of here, and then you're gonna split up into three pieces. Like that, very good. And then you guys are just gonna come and you're all gonna meet up on that line right there. Nice. And then you'll come out and go to there. Now what's the, what's the hold up? Uh, we're just waiting on these guys to work their way through. Like I said already, that's gonna take a little while. But we can start deleting this stuff now. Because now we have plenty of time. And look at that, we opened up a new import thing as well. So that's good news. I don't really need to erase all this stuff. There we go, that's fine. We actually have, kind of have too many of these going on right now. So I'm gonna erase them all the way back up to here. Because as we established earlier, we really only need one conveyor to get through all of this. So we'll do that. And then we will just have these guys branch off like that as, as necessary. Let's get rid of that one. And we'll have you go there and you go there and you go down like that. And then we're gonna put a resource importer right there, connect you up. There we go. And our cars are still not going through because I don't have this set up properly. So 
Let's go ahead and, since we're going to have to rebuild them anyways, we'll do that. And then we'll do that. Uh, okay, we'll do that. I can, okay. Let's try it this way. There we are. Now they can all go through. And over here. Very good. They've almost made it through to the end point. Uh, that will actually work out really well for our final destination. Uh, oh, but that's right. But we don't need the roof or door panel things. That's what we just got done rebuilding. So I won't need to worry about that. Let's continue deleting these while we wait for cars to work through the system. And then after that, so there's like the window things and stuff, but those actually seem like they're probably gonna go pretty smooth. Don't really need that. So we're gonna run you and then we'll go up there and over like that. So we're gonna go over there and up and over or like that, whatever, whatever you say. Don't need these roof things anymore. Well, I mean, we might. Let's uh, go ahead and set you to any for the imports, just to clear you out. Imports any, import any, very good. And that will clear you guys out. Oh, you're already cleared out. And there we are, all clear. Clear out all these belts, conveyor, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. So like, it looks like in theory, because this is gonna get us close to a car a minute for our factory. But it looks like in theory, we could get our factory up to like at least two cars a minute because we're not gonna use, there's gonna be a lot of our factory that we're not using. Next slot requirements not met. So your fit door panels. Oh, that's also fit door panels. Got it. And we'll clear those out and then we'll grab our conveyor and we'll just go like that and like that. That should allow the cars to get through. And they have a long ways to go. Insufficient resources. Yeah, we're kind of used to that. What are we running shortfalls on? Probably... Oh, it's, it's those alarms, huh? Alarms and chips. Well, that's easy to fix. We go to our uh, supply stockpile here. And we put one there. And I'm going to put another one over here. And then we will do add item alarm. No, any. 18, add item chip. 18. And we'll do that over here, too. Add item alarm and add item chip. Very good. Okay. Great. And how many cars do we got going through now? Well, we have lots going through. Uh, they don't seem to be backing up our window and mirror slots. So the only like the only reason we want to move these is just to clear out the space. Because we could de definitely make this go through a little faster. But I, I'm going to want to see. It looks like we're our f drying stuff is not quite keeping up. So that's probably our bottleneck. Um, it seems like the undercoat drying is keeping up just fine. Well, you know, our dry finish might be running... And enough efficiency, because I could always pop one more in there. I could pop one more in over here, too. So really, it does seem like we're keeping up pretty well with that. And it seems like that's not the backstop, uh, the jam. The slowdown seems to be somewhere over here. Probably, oh boy, oh boy. I would like to really do redo the all this manufacturing stuff to tidy it up, especially if we want to introduce electric vehicles. Gosh, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to stretch this out to 15 episodes. It might have to run longer than 15 episodes. I don't think that's going to happen. Unfortunately, it doesn't. The series is not quite as popular as I would hope. Um, but, uh, um, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to have at least one more episode on the next episode. 
And I hope you will join me for it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you're having a good time. Um, this is Production Line. It's been great. We've got at least one more episode coming. Leave me a comment. Click that like button. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Bye.